Let's take a live look at the Colorado State Capitol building. Today, Governor Jared Polis delivered his sixth State of the State address, laying out his priorities for the year ahead. He spoke for about an hour to the state legislature, outlining the major challenges he believes that were that are facing the state and his vision for addressing them. Our chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski was there tonight, fact checking the governor's speech. Tony, yeah, by our count, a 58-minute speech, uh, 21 different standing ovations, and a wealth of facts for us to dive into. Please escort the governor into the House chamber. Well, let's just say the governor's ceremonial entrance didn't go exactly as planned. So we begin our fact check with a time check. The joint session will be in recess while we await the governor. And that time check shows from the minute the governor was announced until he actually entered the chamber, five minutes and seven seconds. So after a slight delay, we begin our fact check with the state of the state's first big moment. And at long last, Colorado is the rightful permanent home of U.S. Space Command. It was the governor's first standing ovation of the day, and our fact check finds everything the governor stated was true. Keeping the Space Command in Colorado was a major victory for the state and the country. As of September of last year, Colorado has seen a 21% year-over-year reduction. Our fact check shows the governor is accurate with that claim, but it definitely needs context. Although auto theft numbers are down year-over-year, year, our data dive shows it follows three consecutive years of substantial auto theft increases statewide. That included a 40% increase between 2019 and 2020. Is it better? Yes. Does it remain a problem? Yes. I'm so excited that in the very first year, about 40,000 kids are enrolled in preschool, saving each family more than $6,000 per year. This is also accurate, but also needing context. While it's true, nearly 40,000 families were helped. The state's economic shortcomings last year triggered a provision in the state law that tightened eligibility requirements and decreased the total number of four-year-olds approved for free preschool. Well, let me take a moment to commend the General Assembly for your hard work during the special session last November to reduce property tax rates. Again, the governor is accurate in what he said, but context really tells a different story. Yes, lawmakers did reduce property tax rates during the special session, but our fact check shows the entire story is lawmakers actually reduced a massive property tax increase. Property taxes are still going up significantly statewide this year, but the legislature in fact gave a small haircut to a much larger increase. So I want to announce I'm ready to try out for the Colorado Rockies this spring. Who needs legislation when you can have home runs? And frankly, we all know they could use the help. A little bit of fun there from the governor, and that's a fact you simply can't argue. The Rockies coming off a season where they set a franchise record for losses and have not made the playoffs since 2018. Now, we did call the Rockies. Still no word on if they will extend a spring training invite to our governor, Jessica. All right, thank you, Tony, for that report. And for a look at all the issues the governor touched on during the State of the State speech, head to our website. We have a full story posted right now on Denver7.com.